late! I'm late! Ah! 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 Late for lunch. I wonder, what is the fastest fast food? What can I eat right now? Well first, we need to suit up. It's time to suit up! We've got the lab coat on, we're in my laboratory. What are we testing today? Fast as fast food. Today we've got to stick to three. We've got to stick to McDonald's, KFC and Hungry Jack's. But we're not only just going to test the time, that would be too simple. We need to look at the customer service. Is customer service compromised by the speed? If it takes longer, do you get better customer service? Presentation. Uh, present. T I'm not a wordsmith, guys. Does the speed affect presentation? You can be the fastest, but if it doesn't look good, well then, what good is the fastness? Half the taste is in the looks. No, that's the smell. Oh. We'll save that experiment for later. Does looks actually influence taste? Let's put that aside. The most important one taste. Now, with the items, we're going to just go the classic items. We're going to go a large meal. We're going to get the most signature item. What actually gets affected? Does the time influence anything? Does it really matter? Well, let's get started. Restaurant number one. We're outside McDonald's and don't we all love a Big Mac because that's the meal of choice we're going to get here. A large Big Mac meal. Let's see how fast they can make it. So here at Mac is our first stop and interesting is that they've got these interactive uh, ordering booths which we're actually going to try out and see what kind. Oh, well, let's go to one of these ones that actually work. Customer service led down. Awesome. That's alright, thank you so much. 5 minutes and 28 seconds approximately for McDonald's tablet ordering. See the presentation of the fries? See they haven't filled it up to the top. The colour is slightly off. It's a bit on the lighter side. Normally the fries have a bit of a deeper golden colour but you know they still look pretty good. But this is what we're all in it for, the prizes. Chance, nope. Please win something. But here are the fries. Still got a bit of crunch. A lot of salt, delicious. Lolly well seasoned the fries. I'll give probably a three and a half out of five. I've had better of Macca's fries. Could be a tiny bit more fresher. They're a bit lukewarm, but they're still delicious. Can't go wrong with Macca's fries. So here's the Big Mac, and you can see that there's a bit of a burger grease on the box. That does go a bit to the presentation. Let's see how the burger looks. Pretty standard Big Mac. You can see that a lot of the lettuce has fallen off. So once we see, once we grab this burger, we lose that much lettuce. Presentation-wise, you can kind of see it was a bit. It's a bit lopsided. The sim symmetry's not there. Now there's my Big Mac. Presentation not so good. It looks good on that angle, but you see, yeah. But how will it taste? Mm. Mm. Pretty solid. I think um, what makes a Big Mac really good is the uh, it's so mushy, so you can just squish it down and just like gobble it down. Happy that tangy sauce, you know, the lettuce, the crunch, tangy sauce, the onions. Then you've got that pickle. It just balances out so perfectly. It's basically essentially a double greasy burger, but cut down with all that acidity from the sauce, the tanginess, the pickles. Absolutely delicious. This Big Mac, not piping hot, not the freshest. You can tell when it's fresh or just okay. It is still fresh, but I'm talking about piping hot fresh. But for me, this is a, probably a four out of five. So we're done here at Macca's and we're off to go try some more delicious fast food. So we're outside KFC, Kentucky Fried Chicken, and the meal of choice here is the Zinger Burger. Just the Zinger Burger combo, not a box, unfortunately no gravy, which makes KFC the best in my opinion. KFC is my personal favorite, but here we're just testing out the speed, and to remain consistent, we're only gonna get a burger and fries and a drink. 
So it's just going to be a zinger combo. Let's go. Could I just get a zinger burger in a large meal? Is that just the Zinger Burger combo? Not a box, unfortunately no gravy, which makes KFC the best in my opinion. No gravy. Okay, that service was actually quite fast. I didn't even get to record it, but 2 minutes 48 approximately for KFC. Almost 3 minutes shaved off. But does the food quality translate? Here we go, let's get the fries. So the fry... Oh, sh oh no, no. So opening it up. So once you've opened it up, you can see that you lose a big portion of volume because they were sink. So you see not filled up to the brim, kind of the same issue with Mac is. How are the quality of chips though? They seem like they just cooked okay. You can actually visibly see grains of salt. So that's good. So let's eat some fries. Mmm. Mmm. See, it's a bit dangly, but um, Wow, they're really hot. I mean, it's both seasoned, the seasoned so well. The, the chicken salt of KFC you can't beat. Absolutely delicious. Mm. Mm. Can't beat it. These chips are so good. I'll give probably four and a half. Really good, delicious. The king of chicken burgers, the Zinger Burger. So you can see already, there's a bit of a presentation issue. Um, it looks like someone sat on my zinger. It's got no, the bun isn't popped, it looks a bit flat. You can see here the bread's kind of like this flat. The chicken piece, it's a really good chicken piece, but the lettuce, uh, there's, there's a decent amount there, but not the greatest presentation looking wise, but hey, we've got the meal out really, really fast. Zinger burger time, look at that. The problem with the snuggle tooth, and that's the piece of chicken that hangs out the burger, is it gets really dry and it makes it very apparent how fresh or how um, long it's been waiting out. And this burger's been sitting out for a while. For a Zinger burger, it's not that fresh. I think it's a three and a half out of five. So the food here was quick, but the quality wasn't the greatest. The chip was absolutely amazing, but the burgers were already sitting there, ready to go. I don't know how long they've been sitting there for. But that's how, they got, that's how they got it so quick. The burger was already there, the bottle was only there. All they had to do was just give me my order. Still fast service, still really good. KFC, actually surprisingly, faster than McDonald's. Outside here, the last restaurant, Hungry Jack's, which is an Australian adaptation of Burger King. And the burger of choice here is the classic Whopper. Let's go see how fast they can make this Whopper. Could I please just get a large Whopper meal with uh, Coke, no sugar? That's it, thank you. Yep. Thank you. Two minutes 53, but let's check out the food. You see a few fell out, but look, these feel, these feel like they, they're actually the most full and filled to the brim. It's, the colour actually looks the best too, so hey, looking good. The chips are warm. They're a bit soggy though. They taste good. They're, they're seasoned well with salt, but there's the, the oily canola aftertaste. And they're not as crispy and fresh as they I normally would like these to be. So these chips are only three and a half out of five. Let's have a look at this Whopper, and you can see that it, you can't see anything else. It just looks like meat and beef. But look at those flame grilled marks. The salad is a bit offset, but not a bad looking burger. Not a good looking burger though. At least it's not that squished. Let's take it out. You can kind of see here. It looks way better on this angle, but you see it's, it's kind of off-centered. It needs to be slightly bare. The good old Whopper. Mm. Yeah. Because all the lettuce was offset, that one would taste of bone dry to me. Let's try to get a bite with everything in it. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Once you get everything in it, it's so delicious. The mayo and the salad really helps the dryness out. This Whopper is only three out of five. So while Hungry Jack's was quick, food quality wasn't the greatest.
Now KFC was the fastest, but they did have a pre-packaged bottle. While I was saying the Maccas didn't taste that fresh, the Big Mac was a lot more fresh than the Whopper, a lot more fresh than the Zinger. The fries were not as fresh as the KFC or the Hungry Jack's fries. I think the most fresh fries came from KFC, which was the fastest. Maccas was the longest, but the fries were a bit of a letdown. So each fast food place I visited had its pros and cons. There was some variances in time, but overall they do get the job done quick. It does depend on customers. I went all at the same time during lunch period, peak period. So in the end, you just want to get the food that you enjoy and love. And there is no really big significant time and difference. We're talking minutes here. It is fast food, but yes, there is a fastest fast food here. So I hope you guys enjoyed that experiment. Please like, subscribe, comment, favorite, click the bell, get the alerts, comment down below what other experiments you think we should test out. And remember, you can always trust me, the food scientist, to do these experiments so you don't have to, no matter how pointless they are. And in the end, which was the fastest? Let's tick that off. Catch you later.